Hello, my name is Neil, and I would like to talk to you today about the Astro Hopper application. This application is running on this phone here. Okay, like that. When you first look at it, um, it looks a bit like a regular uh, sky map application. You can see different constellations and the stars, but it's much much more. Using this app connected to my telescope like that, I'm able to align the telescope to the right star or deep sky object which I'm interested to view first. We will find a star which we can easily recognize, Sirius. And we will point the telescope to that star using regular uh, tracking with the finder scope or the red dot. Once the, we see the star in the eyepiece, we will tell the app that now the phone is aligned with that star. Then the magic begins. We will choose the deep space object or another star we want to see on the app and the app will tell us exactly how to move the telescope and to which direction when the app will tell us that the desired star is in our reach we can usually see it on the finder scope or even on a low magnification in the telescope if you are near that star, then it will be very easy to find it. Okay, so now that you are all excited and you want to have this app on your telescope as well, how do we connect it to the telescope? Well, as you can see on my scope, I have these scotches here and on the back of this phone and I simply connect it like that, but you can use any matter you can think of, straps or uh, some special devices. The most important thing is that the phone will be parallel to the optical view. So this way when we move the scope, the phone will track the movement of it. Okay, I have a few more hours till sunset, so we'll continue when you can see some stars. Hi. Well, it's night now and uh, we have some stars up there and I want to show you how to use the application as I said earlier we first want to align the scope manually to some star we know in this case Sirius it's right over there I will show you and after we get to Sirius I will show you how we can use the app to move from Sirius to the Orion Nebula okay, so I hope the camera can catch the the night sky and I hope you are able to see Sirius and the Orion Nebula both on the sky okay so I hope you are able to see now Sirius I will point to it so you can see it, it's right over there the brightest star Sirius and we will take our scope and just aim it at Sirius. Okay, so we are now going to aim our scope to Sirius. It's over there. Very easy. Yes, we have it 
both in the eyepiece and on the finder. And now we'll go to the app. Okay, so I will close this. So we ca we don't see in here Sirius. This is because this phone compass is not so good. So what we are going to do is going to move to manual mode here, this hand. And while in manual mode, we can simply turn the, the turn the chart until we see Sirius. Here it is. Can you see it? So, in order to align, we can first look again to see that we have Sirius. Can you see it? I'm, I, this, the, this dot is Sirius through the eyepiece. Okay, so now we have Sirius on the eyepiece. All we need to do is press the align button and choose the star. I'm choosing Sirius. And you can see three seconds and now it is saying aligned. Okay? You see Sirius is also with a different color. Of course you can change it to red uh, view for my night mode, but for this, dem this demonstration it's very easy. And now we want to try and look for the Rhine Nebula. Okay, the Rhine Nebula is a bit further to the right. So we just move the scope a bit to the right and we can see it here. Okay, I can increase, I can in, uh, increase the magnification. Okay. You see M42, I will press M42 and as you can see I have an arrow and an up and right. So it's telling me take the scope a bit up by one to a few degrees and until I get to around zero and then take it right until I get to zero. Okay, almost zero. So now the scope should be aligned with the Rhine Nebula. Okay, so now we have Sirius aligned and I want to look for the Rhine Nebula. That's Messier 42. So I can move the scope and look for it, but I can press here for the search button, write M42, and search. Okay, and now I can see this green arrow telling me I need to move on this direction. That's 3.8 degrees to the upper and 20 degrees right. So I will first move to the right position until I get to zero here. Oops, overshoot a bit. And about zero, okay. And now a bit up. it down until I get close to zero. Okay, this is close enough. Let me check in the finder scope. And indeed I can see the Ryan Nebula in the finder scope. It's a bit off, but it's there, very easy to move it. And now I'm exactly on the Ryan Nebula. I can see also see it also in the eyepiece and we can now estimate the error we got 
as you can see left 0 0.2 degrees up exactly 0 degrees where is it or 0 0.1 degrees very accurate and just I hope you can see the Rhine Nebula through the eyepiece let me try it I don't know if it's possible to see it like that but it's definitely there oh you can see it on the finderscope yeah not the nebula but the stars near it okay so I've turned on the lights so you can see me better and I want to talk about the expectations and how to use the app in the best way so first of all you need to know that you you must be able to uh, find at least some known star by yourself it could be uh, Sirius it could be uh, Cassiopeia or one star in Cassiopeia uh, it could be a planet we don't have any planets right now but if you can see Jupiter or Venus it's, uh, they, these objects are uh, present in the application and you can easily uh, find them by yourself uh, another thing you need to know is that uh, doing very long uh, movements is not advisable uh, for example uh, aligning if you want to align it to Polaris which is about there and you want to find Andromeda which I think already sank but it's a movement of, like that it, this is too much okay you need to move let's say a rule of thumb 20 30 degrees maximum so what you need to do is if you want to do a long movement you need to first align to a star you know then do a movement to a star you might have difficult time do getting to there by yourself but with the application it's easy let's say move 20 degrees do realignment okay so you find that star you align it to it again and then you can continue so do it in parts not in one consecutive motion so the bottom line is you have to be acquainted a bit with the application and with your phone it can perform differently on different phones uh, I know that on iPhones it's working a bit better than on uh, simple phones this is a Chinese Xiaomi phone and uh, so the, the sensors are more accurate on the iPhone for example and uh, you need to uh, know a bit of the sky map by yourself so let's say you want to find Andromeda and uh, as you know to get to Andromeda you usually people will tell you go to Pegasus and from Pegasus go to Mira and then take a 90 degrees angle to, to Andromeda in a high bottle sky sometimes Pegasus is not so easily uh, identifiable instead of finding Pegasus try and find Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia is easily is easy to find even in a sky with high light pollution and from Cassiopeia using the application it's very easy to move to, uh, to Andromeda galaxy so just try and play a bit with the application um, try uh, learning learn it a bit uh, try to use the settings play with the settings of it uh, you can choose uh, uh, there are many different options there you can have like a viewing list instead of searching like I did uh, all this you can find in the application uh, manual happy stargazing <laughs>